everyone, my name is Birdburn and today we are talking about Harmony Basics. So throughout the month, I'm gonna make more videos about the basics, but today is the first one. And we're gonna start with the interface. So Harmony's interface is usually the first thing that people see and they get scared and they run away because there's so many icons, so many little things written that it's confusing. So today we are demystifying this and making it easy. But that's what I do. So first, Harmony works with the logic of views, toolbars, and tools. So the views, they're the little uh, rectangles where you work. So here I have camera view, drawing view. If you want more views, you can click on the plus sign and you have so many to explore. Uh, feel free to just explore them on your own or watch my tutorials to learn more about them. Um, here's how you can move them. You can click on the outside of these boxes and just slide them. You can also click on the triangle here to collapse them and bring them back. Uh, same thing here. This is very useful if you want to focus, for example, just on your camera view. Also, if you press on Ctrl F or Command F on a Mac, you can change the focus of your screen. So I'm going to press, it's going to do the full screen mode. Then I'm going to press again, it's going to collapse my views. So I'm going to press again to come back to my normal view. So last thing about views is that yes, you have camera drawing and you have all of those, but you also have the general view, which is like your whole interface. Uh, this is important for the next step, uh, which is the toolbars. But before I go there, I just want to show that uh, here, there's a view called the tool properties. The great thing with the tool properties view is that depending on which tool you choose, it's going to change how it looks, but you can keep it in the same place. So usually if you work with a tool and you wonder how to do something with it, so like if you want to draw with your brush and you wonder how to maybe use the draw behind feature or something, well, know that usually it's going to be in the tool properties and you're going to find different icons in there. So just so you know, it's a view that kind of transforms more than the others. Next, toolbars. So in Harmony, the toolbars belong in a view. So if you want to move them to another view or to your general interface, uh, it's not going to work. By the way, to move your toolbars, you can just click on the rectangle here and you can slide them or you can tear them off and put them somewhere else. Something you can do. But I cannot take my toolbar and like bring it outside of my view and expect it to clip somewhere. It's not gonna work because your toolbars are locked within a view. How do you move them? Super easy. Uh, if you wanna call a toolbar to the general interface, which is like outside of every view, you can go to Windows, Toolbars, and just find the toolbar you want and it's going to put it in your general interface. So I went ahead and I got my pen setting and put it here. If I want to take the pen setting toolbar and bring it here, I can just right click in the void and go get my pen setting toolbar and it's going to appear somewhere in my view. Sometimes, and I prepared for this in my video, sometimes here is going to hide your toolbar away in a corner. Just know that you can just slide it out and bring it here. Sometimes it happens, I don't know why, but it does. And also if you have two toolbars that are a bit too close to one another, you can press on the triangle here and it's going to show you what you are missing. So very useful if you, if you sometimes collapse your toolbars to save space, at least you can have access to their icons right here. Of course, if an icon is grayed out, you cannot use it at the moment, so only use the one that are colored. Next, I'm gonna show you how to customize your toolbars. To customize your toolbars, super easy. You can just pick one uh, that is customizable. I do know that the timeline toolbar is customizable. And I don't like it because there's so many icons that I don't use, so I like to curate my timeline toolbar. So to do that, just right click on your toolbar anywhere and go to customize. Then again, not every toolbar can be customized, just a few of them, so I'm gonna click here. And then you can have the customization window that appears. On the left are the possible tools that you can have, and on the right are the ones that you currently have. So I never ever use the quick ease and ease outs. Maybe some people do that do more cutout, but I, I never use them, so. I'm going to take this one, then shift click on this one and just press on the triangle to send them back where they belong. I will do the same in the bottom with paste modes and add prefix to fix. The paste modes were useful back like 10 years ago in older Harmony maybe, but I never used them. And it's like your clothes, if you don't wear them for 10 years, you donate them. So, And also my add prefix to fix, I don't use it in my timeline, I only use it in my node view, so off they go. Also add and remove key exposure, I don't use them because I use the shortcut. The other ones, I, I know they have shortcuts, like insert keyframes and delete keyframes is F6 and F7, but I do like to be able to click them, uh, so I keep them. But you can remove them if you want. So that's how you remove them. And now I'm gonna go add my favorite <laughs> tool. I'm gonna write key and find the stop motion keyframe mode. I think everybody should have that in their timeline. It's so freaking useful. So I'm gonna click on it and bring it here to my list. By the way, if your list is too long, in most of the windows in Harmony, you can make them longer by going at the bottom here and just pull here and see it. Then take my icon and just bring it a bit more up because I do use it uh, a whole lot. So 
then I'm gonna press OK. And now I customized my toolbar. Now that you know how to customize your <laughs> interface, I know that you're gonna probably mess it up and do something crazy. Uh, like this. If you ever do something weird and you wanna reset it to default, you can always go to Windows, Restore Default Workspace, and everything will be restored to default. Might take a moment. And there you go. Now, the last thing I want to show you today are different ways to kind of navigate your software, which will ease us into the next video. So Harmony can be navigated with a timeline, a node view, which you can find here, or a time sheet or X sheet or exposure sheet, if you prefer. To find it, you can go to plus and find your X sheet. And if that's your jam, then you have an X sheet to navigate. I know lots of people that are maybe more familiar with TV paint or paper animation prefer the X sheet. Some people that are more used to Flash and Maya will prefer the timeline. But hey, Harmony offers both, so just use the one that you prefer. Or both. I like to use both at the same time for different things. And um, yeah, that's, that's it for the basic of the interface. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.